what's up guys today we are going to create this search intro animation in film express all right so let's start by creating a new composite chart i'm going to call this main and for the duration let's make this 10 seconds long and 90 20 10 80 30 fps and click on ok then let's create a new plane layer call this pg for background i'm going to set the color to white and click on ok I'm going to duplicate this layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and rename this to shape and in the effects we're going to search for fill color. Apply it on this shape layer, expand the fill color and click on this white color and from this window I'm going to change it to a blue and click on OK. Then head into the transform of the shape layer, unlink the scale and just scale it down like that. I'm going to make a square shape so I'm gonna set this to 8 and this one to 14 all right that looks good then we are going to animate this shape so I'm going to create a keyframe at the very first frame I'm going to move forward to maybe about 20 frames and create another keyframe by clicking on this toggle keyframes icon so basically these two are the same keyframes there will be no animation Let's go to the very first frame, set the scale to 0 on both X and Y and now you have this simple scale animation. I'm going to select these two keyframes, convert the keyframes to manual bezier, then go into the value graph, hold the shift key and drag this handle all the way to the left. So now you will have a more smoother animation. Next thing that we are going to do is create another keyframe at 1 second and 20th frame. And here we would like to change the X scale. So I'm going to increase that to about, let's see, I guess 50 looks fine. So I'm going to set this to 50. Select this keyframe, the last one, convert it to manual bezier, go to value graph, hold the shift key, and again, drag it all the way to the left. And the next step is to import your search icon. So you can just search it on the Google. I got this from icons8.com. So I'm going to drag this and put it on top. And it's so big, so I'm going to just scale it down. Let's go forward to see where the box is. So I'm going to scale it down even more. So something like that. And then I'm going to apply the fill color on this and change its color to white. All right, so if you go to the very first frame and if I turn off the background layer, you can see the search icon is like visible from the very beginning. I want this search icon to be only visible inside this blue shape. So in order to do that, we have to apply the set matte effect on the icons layer and expand the set matte, set the source layer to the shape set the blend to subtract and click on the invert option and now as you can see our search icon will only be visible inside this blue shape all right let's turn on the background okay so let's go to the 20th frame and create a keyframe on position under your icon layer create a keyframe on position go to one second and 20th frame and move the position to the right somewhere over here Select these two keyframes, convert the keyframes to manual bezier, go into value graph, hold the shift key and drag the handle to the left. So you'll have something like that. Now we need to add our text. So create a new text layer and type in your text. Then you can go to the text tab and make changes to your font. I'm going to change the font to Nexa bold and I'm going to go to layout and align it in the center. And then with the selection tool, I can move it to the left somewhere over here. Go to the text tab and I'm going to actually increase the size as well. So maybe around 63 and just position it over here. Then what you can do is if you're using Hitfilm Pro, you have the, some animation presets already in Hitfilm Pro. You can drag in the typewriter effect on this, drag and drop, and you will have this typewriter effect going on since we want the animation to happen at 1 second and 20th frame we'll just move at that position and drag this text layer to start from that point so we have our typewriter effect if you're not using Hitfilm Pro 
then you can also create a mask like this and you can animate the mask so go to expand the mask go to transform let's go to the very first frame create a keyframe on position move it all the way to the left so that our text is not visible then move forward to maybe like one second and just move the shape back to zero and i can also connect the keyframes to manual bezier and you'll also have kind of a typewriter effect in your animation but you can obviously play with the the speed of this animation if you want it to be more smoother you can just extend the keyframe and it will be much slower so you can do that uh, but i'm going to use the typewriter effect it just looks really nice um, not only that you can pair it with uh, multiple animations or apply some more effects like up roll up insert so let's just do that and you will end up with something like this but let's just keep it simple i'm going to delete this all right so if you play this animation this is how it's going to look as you can see the text is appearing a bit slow so i'm going to expand the typewriter and set the reveal length to maybe around 15 percent so now it will be like a bit faster and that's exactly what we want all right so the next thing is we need to create a like an enter or a click effect so for that i'm going to go where this text animation ends so it ends at frame three second and third frame so i'm going to create a new point layer and i'm going to parent the shape icon and the text to that point layer i'm going to expand the point layer go to transform and create a keyframe on scale move five frames forward and set the scale to 90 percent move five frames forward and set this back to 100 so let's uh, create a manual bezier keyframe and you will have uh, this kind of an effect and this just will represent your clicking effect right that looks good and what i also like to do is go to effects and search for drop shadow and apply it on your shape layer expand the drop shadow and increase the distance and also the penumbra value and let's just increase the distance a bit more something like that you can load down the opacity if you want to and that should look good right so now we need to create a transition so that our logo will turn into a background image so for that we have to just drag in our background image over here i'm going to be using this image i'm going to scale it down like that and i'm going to create a composite chart out of it so right click make composite chart select these two options and this will be like your channel info and click on ok so i can also drag in the logo of my channel i'm going to use this youtube logo and let's just scale this down a bit all right and you can also add a text layer and type in the name of your channel and place it under your logo and go to text tab and you can just make changes to your text and let's go back so now i need to make a transition at let's just turn off this your channel info layer so i want to make a transition after the click finishes so it just finishes at this frame so i'm going to create a mask on this your channel info composite shot so i'm going to click on that layer and then i'm going to click on the ellipse mask tool go to the center and click and hold the alt and the shift key on the keyboard and create a perfect ellipse or a circle like that and we can go to transform of this mask and create a keyframe on scale so i'm going to create a keyframe there set the scale value to zero 
we can also turn on the layer visibility set that to zero i'm going to move forward to four second and set this to 100. select these two keyframes convert the keyframes to manual bezier going to value graph hold the shift key and drag the handle all the way to the left so you'll have something like this obviously if you want a more smoother animation you can increase the distance between these two keyframes and you'll have a much smoother animation so that's pretty much it you can go back to your your channel info if you want to change the background image you can easily do that you can just replace it with any background or any logo you can change your text you can make all the changes here and all those changes will be updated inside your main composite shot um, what i also like to do is let's create a simple scale animation over here so create a keyframe here go to the very end and let's just increase this to 110 and we'll have a scale animation all right so that's pretty much it that's how you can create this search intro animation and in hit film express if this video is helpful make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one